Fit arm. Oh yeah, I like that one. Hey everybody, Stu Carter here from Atomai.com and I've got it finally! Maxus Dragonoid! It's for real! Seven in one battle monster for Bakugan. If you were following my blog at Bakugansector.com, you knew about this. I told you about this as early as in January when I got back from the toy show in Hong Kong. Back then, Spin Master told me they were going to name it Maxis Drago. A lot of kids are talking online about Maxis Drago. They've renamed it. It's going to be Maxis Dragonoid. Uh, it's a 7-in-1 box. You've got a little open it thing. You can open it up when you see it on your store shelf. and You can look uh, at all the uh, Traps. There's uh, six traps and one standard Bakugan, two cards included in the pack. Of course, we're going to open it up. We're going to take a look. Here's the back of the box. You can have a look at what the traps look like when they're opened up. We're going to open them up here and try them out on our Bakugan bottle table. So stand by for a new toy review. Okay, so here's the guys out of the box. They're all Pyrus Red, but uh, the funny thing is, uh, most of them carry two attribute stamps that aren't Pyrus at all. Uh, none of them had G powers except uh, the one standard Bakugan. I'll show you that, but the rest of them are just have abilities. Come with a, a metal gate card that says Building Gate. It talks about how you play the Maxis Drago. And then there's a uh, Maxis Dragonoid uh, ability card. I'm, I'm going to go through and show you how these transform. Uh, and then we'll talk about how to uh, assemble it into the Maxis Dragonoid. Here I'll run down what it says on the ability card. Uh, Maxis Dragonoid, play at the start of the game. While this card is in your used pile, your Bakugan get plus 50 G power if you have a Maxis Dragonoid Bakugan trap in the battle. That's what it says. And for the Metal Gate card, Building gate, it says, each player with a piece of Maxis Drago here may attempt to roll one of his unused Maxis Helios pieces. If it stands, the player may choose which of their G powers to use and which of their attributes to use. Well, okay, that makes it perfectly clear. Let's watch these guys transform. Neo Dragonoid. Dark Hound. Gracchus Hound, Brachium, Grafius, Spit Arm. Oh, yeah, I like that one. We'll do it again. Spit Arm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Spider Fencer. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Spider Fencer again. Yeah, baby. Now, all these, uh, to get them into their final display mode, you'll have to pull out various appendages and antenna, uh, for instance, and it's helpful if you have a very small screwdriver to get, help get the little feet or the little antenna out. I'll do that here with Spider Fencer, just kind of pull those little feet out. Also there's going to be uh, photos at the end of this video to show you what they look like in fully posed form and as Maxis Drago. So then, see I've got the feet out. Uh, the, the, the little tips of the feet and I'm going to lock these down and kind of lock them straight into place there see they kind of snap down easily and uh, there and see now he stands up real nice there's his tail there's his head that's a pretty cool looking piece and uh, the others have similar things that you need to do uh, I won't uh, show you all of that except one thing to show you, see that I transformed this for display and then uh, there's an extra, uh, instruction sheet to show you how to transform them again uh, to assemble for Maxis uh, Dragonoid uh, and uh, I'll let you figure that out except for one thing I'm going to tell you about uh, the two guys, the two cylinders, uh, Graphius and Brachium. Uh, this is how they're going to be uh, when they first pop open, right? And then to, uh, to assemble them for Maxis Dragonoid you do need to, uh, by the instructions, you do need to rotate this. And it's kind of scary, you're going you're, you're gonna to be afraid that you're going to break it. It will not break if you just kind of give it a gentle force. It's just a little stiff the first time. But it will rotate. See, it's rotating. 
and you need to rotate it from the stay the, the opening position is here and you need to rotate it 180 that's like all the way around to fit properly in the Maxis Dragonoid uh, and the other one does the same thing uh, here it is popped open and you're just going to rotate it there see and uh, then you'll see there's a uh, little uh, pegs that flip out and they will assemble into the Maxis Dragonoid and you'll have a photo at the end to see how that works but the, all these transform pretty cool um, I thought this one was the, the neatest one for transforming and uh, that's the uh, uh, spit arm and then spider fencer uh, was also uh, one of my favorites uh, for the transforming ease of transforming I like it when they kind of pop open uh, right from the start and uh, don't give you much trouble and that's uh, Definitely those two are the coolest. I've got some close-up pictures of the final product, the, the guys in display mode and also assembled as Maxis Dragonoid. And uh, other than that, you're going to want to subscribe to my channel because you know what i got coming up next? Right here. The Baku Gauntlet Combat Device. It's to unfair advantage. It would be cheating except it's made by Spin Master and it's Bakugan so it must be okay. <laughs> Your opponents will cry when they see you wearing this thing. We're going to talk about this. We're going to take it apart and check it out and see how it works. So subscribe to the channel and watch and wait for the next review. Have a good day.